Hello. Have we come up with like a new intro or do we still just awkwardly say hello every time? Hello. Hi. Today we're going to talk about corn plants. Hello. You want to start I'll, since he's your... I'll take the lead. This is the one I'm plant. responsible for him. This is the one plant in the apartment that Molly purchased solo and brought into this home. Correct. Thank you for having me, Kira. My name's Molly, and I'm here to talk about corn plants, specifically mine. I went to the local Home Depot, and I wanted a, a giant statement piece for my bedroom um, because I didn't really know what else to do in terms of decor. And I was like, I'm just going to get a giant tree, and then I won't have to do anything else. And then I met Kiki, and our first text conversation after we reconnected was regarding Corny. And she said, what have you been up to lately? I said, plants. a way to get into her lifestyle. I said, I have plants. <laughs> and I sent a, a hot photo of it. And she said, that's dead. I said, no, it's not. It was Did I completely send sideways. It was completely I said, sideways. I feed it every day and water it a few times a day. I said, feed it? What do you mean feed it? Feed it and water it are like the same thing. So what do you mean you're feeding it? I gave that a little. She was getting it plant food every single day. Of course it was rotting from the inside out. I eat every day. Corny eats every day. <sighs> and then we rectified the situation when Molly moved in. We skateboarded this guy over to our apartment. That was a doozy. He has grown so much since we got him a year ago. You can see these little buds that are coming out. There is a little bit of browning, which we're gonna talk about why that happens. But for the most part, we plopped him in the corner and he's so happy. So today, what we're gonna do is answer your questions about the problems you're having with corn plants. Okay, where does the name corn plant come from? I'll field this one. You ever had corn? No. I corn plants are a part of the Dracaena family. It's cousin a cousin to the Dracaenus. Yes, he's a, he's a cousin of the Dracaenus. And there's four different types with different coloring. And the name corn plant just comes from because it looks like corn, corn plant. <laughs> which I thought was going to be a better explanation, but um, they Sometimes originated in Africa. people are just and tired and they're like, kind of looks like corn. Yeah. Let's move on to the next one. We got a lot of things to name today. Next question. How much water does she need? I killed one, then bought a second one. That's good. LOL. Just keep buying new ones. Yeah, just keep buying new ones. So they always look so good in Home Depot. And then <laughs> I know. When you take them home, you're like, mm. these are different. Corn plants need a lot of water and they like to be moist at all times, but never soggy and never dry. This is where I started getting into this rabbit hole of reading all these blogs and forums about people who have killed their corn plants. And the issue is, is you really have to balance the watering the correct way. The way that I finicky. do it is every two weeks, I feel the top of the soil, and if the top of the soil is relatively dry, it's time to water, and I give him a really deep watering, so it's a whole gallon. Molly's watching the dog run around the apartment right now. There's a lot of issues that come with overwatering and underwatering, as with any other plant, but this is one plant that's especially susceptible to underwatering because the tips of the leaves start to brown if you such a bad look yeah we've got some of those actually my grandma used to snip off the brown tips uh, smart i have it encourages that. the other leaves to be like i better stay in line <laughs> get snip. does it need purified water my corn plant died many do <laughs> that's a great question it does actually need distilled water. So here's the deal. Did you hear that? Louie? Louie? I give our corn plant tap water, but if I can New think York of it, City's finest. Actually, that's true. The New York City water is really good. We have the best tap water in the world. But what you can Peru. do is they're very susceptible to 
high levels of um, like chlorine, fluoride, other minerals and chemicals in the water. So if you can give distilled water, that's great. Another way that if you don't want to like obviously pay for bottled water for your plant, because that's crazy, that's crazy, you can soften your water. So what that basically means is you pour your gallon or your jug or whatever it is that your, your vessel of water the night before you're going to water it, let it sit out and some of the chemicals start to evaporate. It softens the water and it makes it less hard for the leaves. And um, if you are having brown crunchy leaf issues and you're watering like a really um, regular schedule and it doesn't make any sense, it might actually be browning because your uh, water is burning the tips because that's actually something you can literally burn the plant from the inside, which is crazy. I just learned that today. So many issues, man. Yeah. Is it worth it? it is. I don't know. I love it. Probably not. Next question. Why? Hey, he's drinking my beer. Why are its leaves crusty and brown? No matter what I do, it wants to die. By the way, I felt this and I feel this. <laughs> so much. When I had it on my own as a single mother to Corny, I was like, I give you food, you're mad. I give you no food, you're mad. Water, no water, you mad. Like you just want to be mad. So to answer the question, <laughs> browning and brown crunchy tips could be a couple of things. One, it's not getting enough water or the water that you're getting in. Usually brown crunchy tips won't be from too much water. You'll see like yellowing and sort of mushy mm. leaves from too much water. Cause that's like, that's root rot. So it's not enough water and it's thirsty or the water that you're giving it is burning it Bad because water. of the, yeah, the water is too harsh. Um, another one is it likes high humidity. So if your apartment or your house is really, really dry, especially during the winter months, you'll start to see some browning. You go um, home get a humidifier. What soil do you use? That's a great question. So the soil that I use for most house plants is just like an organic Fox Farms. Uh, it's called Fox Foxy Farms. Foxy Farms. That's good. Fox Farms Ocean Foxy Farms. Forest. Fox Farms Ocean Forest. Foxy and it's just like Farms Ocean Forest. That's like every aspect of the world surface. Ocean Forest. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. It's just a light mix. And when you plant them, you wanna make sure not to pat it down. There's like a temptation to make sure that they don't fall over and like pack like them really tight. Like a skillet. Yeah. If, if you had to compare it to something. Someone has cookies on the brain. Cookie skillet. You press those in, you wanna press them down or they will rise when baking. Okay. With soil, don't do that. Resist. Exactly. Do you fertilize? Great question. Is that food? That's food. Okay. Yes. No. So we stopped fertilizing when we joined this household. A general rule of thumb for fertilization is fertilize during the growing months. So spring and summer and then stop fertilization in fall and winter. I was paranoid because what Molly had been doing, poisoning this poor guy, he liked so it. I didn't did it fertilize him until like midsummer. I fertilized him maybe twice, and it was just like a water soluble um, cap full of fertilizer in uh, one of or my watering cans. And I don't know if it made any difference. Um, they're again because they're really susceptible to issues around high intensity of minerals and stuff. You want to make sure not to over fertilize because it can really hurt them and end up. It stunts them. It stunts their growth. Yeah. Are corn plants very slow growing? Mine has shown no growth for months. Yes. They don't budge. No, they don't. This boy has shown no improvement in terms of height. He's the same measurement that he was the day I bought him. So. Yes. He's grown like at least three or four inches since we got so. him. Yeah, I measured. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Do they thrive in groups or can I just have a stuff? Oh yeah. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's a great funny question. I've never seen one stump sold. We had one in our office, but that ever. was just the other ones died, I think. Like, did it come with more and they died or you just bought one stump? I that would be my follow-up, but they can live on their own. Yeah. 
They don't mind. Doesn't they're, matter. They're to them. social creatures. They like to be in groups, but I actually just think it's mostly aesthetics for us. It is. They're fine. <laughs> One will be. It's the exact same. Trust me. Yes, I would like to know why it is a fickle asshole. I think pretty much covered at that. We this, at this point. They're too much, too little. Water, food, eat. Ass. Very fickle. One stump, two stump, three stump. Corn. <laughs> How much sunlight does it need? It is another anomaly to me because corn plants can't make this are up. tropical plants from the African region, and you would think that a tropical plant would want a lot of sun, but it actually thrives in the shade. It, Partials. Yeah. So as you can see here, you know what I'm saying? If you have the layout of our apartment, he is in a room with windows. Okay. So he's getting indirect S all morning. You know what I'm saying? That's great. Into That's exactly what it is. Indirect light. Correct. The sun, the sun never touches He doesn't his want it directly on him. will burn him, similar to your bad water that you have out there. You learned so much. I know. Does it matter when I repot it? Mine's like root bound and needs it, but I live in Wisconsin. I thought that I was reading like World War One. <laughs> And I knew that was wrong. If you live in a climate where it gets really, really cold outside um, and it's drafty or like you have radiators that are really, really hot and there's extreme hot or cold, um, it does not like drafts. Oh, another thing. It um, doesn't like it when it's drafty, but it doesn't like it when it's hot. So it's like extreme radiator heat or an open window could cause it to start to yellow. But I like to try and avoid repotting in the winter just because it's Ooh. dormant and it kind of sends it into a little bit of a shock. But if it's really, really root bound, then you might need to bite the bullet on that one. You might need to bite the bullet and go for it. It's kind of down to going with your gut. What is the best kind of pot for a corn plant? Plastic, terracotta. You can actually grow them in anything, but you're gonna have to adjust your watering schedule based on what you plant it in. So if you plant it like any other pot in a terracotta, um, he likes terracotta, he's standing up for terracotta. <laughs> it's going to lose moisture a lot faster. So you might have to water it every week. Ours is in a uh, glazed <laughs> ceramic and it has a hole at the bottom. Ceramic holds in moisture for longer because it doesn't have the porous clay nature that the terracotta does. We only have to water ours every two weeks because it's in ceramic. If it's in terracotta, you might have to water it every seven days. Um, it's really up to you to gauge what the situation is when it comes to the soil. Also how big it is. Maybe if you have a little corn plant, you're gonna have to water it more like because it stump. drains through. But we have such a, like, it's like whoever has that one stumps. stump. When do I get my corn? <laughs> I left that one in because I didn't want to make me laugh. <laughs> Like, are we giving this person one? No, I or, think I like, think this person wanted to know if they were going to grow any corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I know, it made me laugh. I've not seen any production of corn with mine. No relation to corn. No relation. There's no relation. Damn, it's so a corn plant, but no relation to corn. That's a huge bummer for you. And that's all we <laughs> have for you today. If there's any other questions that we didn't ask... Or answer, drop them in the comments and we'll try to weigh in. Thanks, bye. Bye. He smells like fish.